Welcome back to Comics Undone, I'm Shell, that's Bimmy, and today we're going to explore the complex and fascinating Marvel comic book character, The Sentry. The Sentry, also known as Robert Reynolds, is not your average superhero. He possesses immense power that rivals even the mightiest beings in the Marvel Universe. But what sets Sentry apart is his internal struggle, a battle within himself that mirrors the eternal struggle between light and darkness. The Sentry's powers are awe-inspiring to say the least. With the power of a million exploding suns coursing through his veins, he possesses superhuman strength, speed, and durability. But what truly sets him apart is his control over the power of light, a power that allows him to manipulate energy, project force fields, and even fly. It's as if he's the living embodiment of a celestial. He's demonstrated powers that have rivaled god-tier Marvel characters. But we need to note that he has equal potential to be Earth's savior and destroyer. Alright, so let's take a moment to talk about The Void, the dark alter ego of the Sentry. The Void represents the embodiment of his deepest fears and insecurities. It's a force that seeks to consume and destroy, a darkness that threatens to overwhelm the light within him. The Void is what balances out the Sentry's contribution to the universe. With his level of power, the Sentry has incredible potential for great feats of good, just as the Void's potential for death and destruction is equally as great, if not more. All the doctors? say that we're the same person, just personalities. The Void is a manifestation of the struggles of the Sentry and Robert Reynolds, a powerless person in a life with deep personal struggles. Mixed with the super responsibilities of having his abilities as well as his tight connection with identifying himself as a hero and needing that part to exist. The narrative for his personal need for the Sentry to exist has been explored with both drug addiction and mental instability. It's a constant war to maintain control over his mind, to prevent the darkness from overpowering the light. This duality within him adds layers of complexity to his character, making him a truly compelling and even a relatable hero. It's super fascinating how his internal struggles with self-doubt, anxiety, and the fear of losing control are themes that resonate with many readers. It's a reminder that even the most powerful heroes have their own demons to face. But amidst the internal battles, the Sentry remains a true hero at heart. He fights for justice and protects the innocent. Even in the face of overwhelming odds, his bravery and selflessness inspired those around him and make him a beacon of hope for the whole Marvel Universe. The Sentry's story is a testament to the power of overcoming one's inner demons and and finding the strength to be a force of good. It's a reminder that even in our darkest moments, there's always a glimmer of light that can guide us towards redemption. The story also offers another layer of complexity with confronting Robert's need for the Sentry to exist, even while fully knowing that then the Void has to exist in tandem. The Sentry and the Void provide us with an interesting avenue to explore not just the Earth's need for a hero in Sentry, but Robert's need to be a fully and wholly acceptable person without the Sentry. So let's celebrate the complexity and depth of the Sentry's character. Let's also appreciate the incredible powers he possesses and the internal struggles he faces. And it's probably okay to let that be reflective and to ask questions about our own inspirations and motivations, as well as being aware of our own insecurities and hurdles. It's absolutely great to idolize the heroes saving the world from interdimensional demons. And it's just as okay to connect with the human side that's hand washing their tights while worrying about rent and making it to family dinners every weekend. Thank you for joining us in this deep dive into the world of Sentry and the Void. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more in-depth analyses of your favorite characters. Once again, I'm Shell, that's Bimmy, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.